Both Devon and Levan have claimed that in the final round of their super match, they would just hold the match in the center, look at their opponent in the eyes and make them quit. So now the question is, who will get gassed out first? Is it Devon or is it Levan who will be gasping for air and hoping that the misery ends soon? To explain why I even want to raise this question, I need to go back almost a couple of years ago. Right before the Devon vs Levan first match, I made a couple of bold predictions. Predictions which one way or the other turned out to be true. Predictions which may have changed now and I'll explain the circumstances why. So the first one was, Devon Lerritt will not waste any time in the setup trying to gas Levan's hand out. But isn't Devon famous or infamous for taking 5 minutes to set up against John Brzezink and Levan is twice as strong as John. So maybe Devon should take 10 minutes this time trying to set up and tire Levan out. But no, the reasoning was that no matter how good your endurance is, you cannot tire a hand that is bigger and stronger than you. You can tire out a hand which is bigger than you. You can also gas out a hand which is stronger than you. But you cannot do that to a hand which is both bigger and stronger. That was my reasoning. So what happened? Devon absolutely did not try any shenanigans in the setup against Levan in the first match knowing that Levan would just clamp hard on Devon's hand and Devon will be the one who will be spending more energy. Yes, of course he did some false starts and he's going to do them this time as well but that is not necessarily a part of a setup trying to tire your opponent out. It can give you a feeling how and where to attack but not to tire your opponent. Not necessarily the same case. So how has it changed now? The most confident thing that Devon has said so far about this match is that his hand is going to feel different to Levan. It's much bigger and it's much thicker now compared to two years ago and much stronger as well. I believe Levan's hand is still going to be bigger and it is still going to be stronger than Devon. But the question is, is the gap big enough now? Well, we cannot say for sure, but I would like to think that this prediction is still applicable even in this match and Devon will not try to spend too much time before the ready go because Devon's arm is not longer than Levan. So he cannot load back with back pressure hoping that Levan tries to hold on and gets himself gassed out. This just won't happen. And my second prediction was that Devon Lerret is going to be the one who will be gassed out against Levan Saganashvili. How did that turn out? This was Levan's face by the last round and this is what Devon looked like. So the gap was clear. Now I absolutely do know that your heart rate would surely go up if you get injured in a match. So maybe this was because of Devon's injury. But honestly speaking, I don't think Devon not getting injured in that match would have changed things so much. Once again, the same reason you cannot tire out your opponent if he's significantly stronger than you. For example, the Kamil Jablonski match. I think Kamil's left was about 15% stronger than Devon. And you can see despite all of the rounds lasting less than one second, Devon was absolutely gassed out by the end of this match. So how does this prediction play out now? Devon is for sure stronger than before and Levan He's at best the same that he was in 2022, maybe even slightly weaker than that. So let's talk about realistic numbers here. I think the gap between them was about 15% the last time around. And now Devon is, let's say, 7.5% stronger. I know it's a funny percentage, but that's what I think. But people will be saying, well, Pradeep, Devon says that he's 15% stronger. I don't believe that to be the case. Devon also said that he could have beaten Levan left-handed that day if he was fresh. And we all saw in the recent practice pull how that turned out. We almost always expect close friends and relatives to be biased about these predictions. But somehow we don't expect the exact same arm wrestler who is going to compete to be biased about himself. I think Devon is and was biased about himself. There is absolutely no way that someone like Devon, who is a full-time arm wrestler, who has dedicated his entire life to arm wrestling, can suddenly somehow get 15% stronger. This is a magical number. So now the strength gap has been reduced from about 15% to about 5%. And the big question is, is that gap big enough for Levan to make Devon gassed out once again? Well, 15% was more than enough for sure. But what about 5%? Is it enough? Well, it would depend on a couple of factors. First one is Levan's own endurance. 
If we remember the Gennady match, there was no strength gap between the two and Devon still got gassed out. But we know that Levan's endurance is not as good as Gennady now. It was back in the days but not now for sure. Second factor is whether Levan can take Devon's wrist or not. If Levan pins Devon few times like he did on the left, basically with side pressure and pronation but without taking Devon's wrist, then Devon will not get gassed out. But if Levan flops Devon's wrist even once, then it is game over for Devon. The endurance game will be won by Levan afterwards. See guys, Devon is not 35 years old anymore, who can still lose a couple of rounds maybe, even badly, and then magically make a comeback and somehow win the entire match. Whether we would like to accept it or not, Devon's cardiovascular system just isn't the same. Beating Prudnik in the first round took Devon exactly the same amount of time as beating him in the last round despite completely gassing out his hand in the first one. So Devon's endurance is still great, it's almost at the top of the game, but it is not what it used to be even 5 years ago. So while I'm not confident unlike the last time, I still wouldn't be surprised if Devon gasses out first and Levan is the one who looks into Devon's eyes and makes him realize that it is over. I have not discussed the possibilities of Levan gassing out in this match because I think there are only a couple of topics to discuss here. Situation number 1. Levan gasses out as soon as Devon stops him and then pins him in one round and then after that he has nothing to offer for Devon. Possibility number 2. Despite losing one round, Levan still makes a comeback and flash pins Devon but eventually he gets tired before winning the entire match. We did see a couple of good fast flash pins from Levan even after being stopped by Aramis Gasparini. So there is a possibility that it can happen here as well. But it will be really difficult for Levan to win the entire match afterwards. So finally to conclude things here. If you met me on the road in July 2022 and said Pradeep, I want to bet $200 that Devon will mess with Levan's hand in the setup and he will gas Levan out in the super match. I would have told you that the opposite is going to happen and I would have happily taken that bet. But right now I won't. The strength gap isn't that big and the confidence isn't there. I would still say that if Levan is winning 4-0, then in the final round, he can happily hold Devon in the center and look him into the eyes and make him realize that it is over. But there's a good chance that Levan may not even win this super match and forget about a 4-0 victory then and the new king will be crowned. I created a community post about this poll and looks like the fans are heavily favoring Devon's endurance in this match, almost 80%. But if we look at the comment section, something that Engin was also mentioning that Devon is the heavy favorite in the polls, but whenever we look at the comments, it is all Levan Saganashvili. So these are the top two comments from the community post. I thank you so much for commenting on the community post and participating in that. Please hit the thumbs up, like the video and subscribe.